Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I think I'm back and I will be uploading more frequently now. So what I was doing in the time I wasn't uploading, I, I did competitive tutoring. If you're interested, you can go to the Smogon forums and look for Battling 101 and there you can find a tutor and he will meet with you a couple of times a week and then he teaches you how to build teams or how to be get better at Pokemon. So just check that out. And today we are going to look at this team. I found it on the <coughs> forums. Um, you can find it in at the Smogon forums under OU teams. Uh, I think it's called Draco Ninja. Uh, the, the guy who built it is called Draco Ninja. We will just try it out. I think it's pretty uh, looking pretty decent. Uh, he has Stealth Rock um, Garchomp, uh, who, which also serves as a butt check, and Klefki with Spikes and Fairy Lock to lock in, for example, the Powdowns, which are problematic for this team. And then Keldeo can Hydro Pump because if you used Fairy Lock on the turn, on the turn they will knock you out after, then they can switch out. So if you sack Klefki and use Fairy, Fairy Lock the turn you sack it, the next turn they can switch out and you can kill, you can bring in whatever you want and maybe get a kill or remove the thing <coughs> which is problematic, problematic for your team. And Caldeo of course, choice packs, pretty standard set. Weavile to trap Pilates, I guess, and or to trap Starmies so that their hazard removal is gone. Weavile has a pretty good matchup against all Pokemon which remove hazards. Choice Scarf Landris to outspeed a huge portion of the metagame and Mega Alexam with Protect and Encore without Shadow Ball because Weavile usually should be taking care of the Lari. Alright, enough talk, let's look for a battle. In the OU tier, I think I'm around 1500 or a little bit lower. I dropped a bit because I tested some teams and sometimes they turn out to be pretty bad, sometimes they turn out to be good or average, so I lose sometimes and then I let up with a better team. So we have our first battle against Prismalon. Um, not much to see till now. I think I'm going to pause it till um, till it loads. Be right back. Okay, we're back, and I just lost my connection and then lost due to inactivity. Nothing I can do about that. But now we are facing rain. Rain is as bad as stall, and also us. Before we had a sand team, now we have a rain team. So let's see what we can do about that. Of course, he will lead with his Politoed, and I can start. Um, I think I can. I think I can lead with Landris and just click explosion on the Politoed so that he never gets up the rain again. I might try that, honestly, but we'll see. I hope I don't lose... Uh, I lost my connection in one second. All right, and we're back, and I hope this will be the last disconnect. Okay. Uh, I will lead with Landris. My plan was to catch uh, this Politoed with the uh, with the with the explosion. I hope he doesn't switch into Ferrothorn. I just I just go for explosion. I think he's going for Scald or Ice Beam. To be honest, Let's see what he does. And I get the kill on the Politoed. And now he has just eight turns of rain, which is pretty good for me. And I think Landris wasn't really doing much in the rain. I think I mean it gets killed by Swampert, by Omastar, and Latias, Conkeldo could pack Ice Punch. So now he could bring one of his Swift Swimmers. That's why I'm switching uh, Keldo here. Keldo here. 
I don't think that he has... No, actually I'm getting up my hazards now. Yeah, I'm getting my hazards up now. Mm. I'm going for spikes the first turn. Going for spikes the first turn. And then I will proceed to go for fairy lock and let Keldeo pump some hydros on this thing. And it should be a kill, in my opinion. As I get knocked out. Oh, I can't even go for that. Okay. Now I can go for. Uh, I can trace his swift tool. No, not not now. I can go for Kelio and just spam a hydro. I think I think a specs hydro in the rain will two it KO at least a Ferrothorn and all that yes. But I think he's going <coughs> from Kelio here. Just go for the hydro pump. And my connection seems to be stable. Let's see. I think he's going largely for Ferrothorn or okay. so. Oh, he goes for. And I missed the Hydro Bomb, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, there's nothing I can do really. I mean, no, uh, this this was crucial. This is a crucial miss. Mm. No, I lost this game. Let's let's try another one. Hopefully get a better matchup because this the guy who built this team said that he climbed 1800. So we have Suda Qualität, which is a Turkish, um, which is Turkish, Turkish meat, and finally we have some balanced stuff. So what I can do is I can lead with Weaver, maybe predicting his. New lead, but honestly, I think he will lead the scissor. So, and Kelly was looking pretty good. Um, yeah, I might lead with Kelly. Yeah, I might lead with Kelly. Oh, I think we got a super play because I can always switch. If he leads with scissor, I can switch in my Gachon. I see it's with power on cap. Probably tries to get up the rocks. So I think a crash should be a 2 KO. I think I'm going for it or I could go Weaver. Uh, I could go uh, uh, Keldeo. The problem is if he, if I switch Keldeo now I can go for me. I think he's just trying to get up his rocks here, so I will do 60% of this as a crash. If he's not fully defensive, but most of them run a mixed set with 112, 112 EVs and Spadev, I guess. As he switches into Scissor, pretty good play. As I take 16%, now I can just go into my Garchomp and tank this bullet punch, hopefully. Or he switches into something, maybe Feral Bomb, maybe a Powdown back. I could do that, I don't know. Let's just see. Um, what I really think is that he stays in and goes for bullet punch, but I know he doubled. Uh, he, he could taunt here or go for Willis. Um, I don't I think I don't mind that too much because I don't really need I don't really have to get something on the physical side. So I think I'm getting up my rocks on his boulders. And the turn after that, I can go for Weaver and trap this view with the pursuit. Or even go for my path. And now I'm predicting him to either switch or go for the powder. <coughs> I guess the powder is a good play. But ah, he goes for defog. Now I could go for pursuit or knockoff. It's a 50-50. Actually, but the fact that he has Willows um, leads me to the fact that he might be he might be switching into Sizzle actually because he did it the last time. So I'm just going for pursuit and hope that he doesn't 
Willows me, which would be pretty bad. As he stays in and goes for Willows, so I lose that 50-50, which is pretty bad. My Reaver is burned. <coughs> but I can go for knockoff, predicting him to stay in again. Ah, that Weaver is that we were loss is pretty bad. Yeah. Mm, it's switching out into scissor as I get its item. Ah, uh, it's Mega Scissor. Why didn't he? Ah, okay, he's double switch. As I will go into Dark Trump. No. Yeah. I can go into Dark Trump and just fire off this. I can get up my rocks here if he wants to stay in. Uh, he, he should be fearing the fire blast though. Yeah. I'm just going for rocks here. <coughs> Don't know what he's going, what he's really going to do. And I think I'm I'll pause it to the maximum. And he switches in mute to defog. Now what I can do is I can go to my lander. I think I really think he's uh, going to default. Yeah, I think he's going to default. And he's at 70%, so let's see what he does. He's either going for Hulas again, which I don't think, or he, I think he's predicting me to Dragon Tail here, because that's what I would usually do, or that's what I would expect from a player. But I'm switching into my Lando and going for U-turn straight up. As he goes for knockoff and knocks out my choice star, which is bad, because now I can also beat Gengar, but I look as I should handle that. Now I can go for U-turn, predicting, I don't know, gaining some momentum. You could go for Softball 2 if he wants to. But we'll see. Yeah, I'll pause it to make some move. And he switches in the Ferrothorn. I take the rock damage, uh, the, the thing damage, iron buffs damage. Now I can go to Alakazam and get my Mega Evolution up. Because I lost uh, my Weaver so early, because I lost the 50 50. I think I'm going to lose to him, actually. I can just go for the Fox Blast. Probably switching you, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to lose to you. But I can... I could explode on that with Landros. I think that's good. that would be my plan. If the Zippos moved. I hope I hit this. As I do, and get a crit, and hit more path. Ferrothorn is gone, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to explode with Landris on the Mew because I have no way of dealing with it. Because I'm not packing the Shadow Ball on my Alakazam. So we'll see what he does here. What would I bring in? Uh, I would bring in Scissor on his part because he threatens me with the Bullet Punch. It's a solid 2 hit KO. It does like 70%. Yep. And. Pretty sure he's going for the sword stance now. Yeah, pretty sure. I don't think he's attacking because I have that dark on in the back and he will take 30%. I'll make the play here. I have to make it because I'm pretty much in the back. And it will be I think for this blast is a 2 KO and I have to do both, which is pretty un pretty unlikely, but I will go for it anyway because I don't have my play. So I'm just going for the Encore here. Uh, I'm not sure what he's going to do. If he goes for a U turn, I'm dead and I lost. But so be it. But I, I'm predicting him to. Uh, oh, he does, just stays in. Okay. So, what can he do here? Knock off? Oh. Hmm. Hmm, that mule's in again. And I think he's going to... Widows me. You know what? I'm going to click Psychic and expect him to switch out into something. Uh, yeah. 
as he just stays in and goes for roost. Okay, what I can do is now I can bring in my Weaver <coughs> and go for knockoff or force the scissor in again and then I can bring in my Weaver and then just click Hydro Pumps from there as he goes for D4. Alright, uh, I can go for Pursuit again. Hope that he switches now just to weaken the Mew on the switch out. Should go into scissor or just stay in. I can't really touch him as he switches out, which I didn't think. So now I can either. I, I'm pretty sure he's switching you on that. So I'll just click Hydro Pump to do to do it kill the Mew. And the fact that I think he's defensive Mew, so. I'm just going for the skull burn here. Could switch a Manaphy too. It's a 50-50 bet between you and Manaphy. You know, I could I can scald. <coughs> or I could go for Secret Sword. So it's pretty much 50-50. As, as he gets it right. And I get the burn. Pretty lucky on my side. But I pause real quick. Sorry about that guys, I got interrupted. So now I just clicked, I, uh, I got into Alakazam, traced uh, his ability, and now I'm free to, uh, free to, uh, he could switch into Mew here again. So I'm just going to psych that. I'm just clicking. Like okay, because I revealed. No, actually, I'm switching. Um, actually, as he stays in, he has a mute to switch. Okay. Now he could switch in mute because that's the thing I would bring in on the psychic, but I don't know. I, I think I have to psychic this thing again. And uh, the turn after that, I can switch in my. Uh, switch in my Okay, as he switches in scissor. So, I guess now he's going to attack and I'm bringing in my... Uh, actually, I can bring in my... Uh, I can bring in this... I can bring this thing in. He could go for U-turn though. Um, yeah. He could bring in... He could go for U-turn or... I really don't know. I can go for Garchomp. Yeah, I think I can go for Godron on the hit. Okay, as he roosts. Now I'm free to fire off a Hydro Pump, which will hit very, very hard. Also, the Mana Fee will go down. He has no switch in for this. This is a Specs Hydro Pump in the rain. That means it has 2.25 uh, times damage. And this is it's huge. It's just incredibly hard. So. Uh, he switching his mana fee or Mew, or he could set Gengar. I, I don't really know. I don't. I don't know what he's uh, doing for so long. So I'm just pausing it till he makes a move. As we one shot the scissor with the hydro pump, incredible, incredible. Now he could bring in Mew, but it's it looks pretty. It doesn't look very pretty for him. So we'll see. Uh, the Gengar shouldn't be one shotting me. So. I can spam Hydro Pumps in the end game, but I have to hit a few though. Uh, I don't think Manaphy will go down, I can cut that. Manaphy was Calm Mind or Rain Dance, I don't, I'm not really sure, but I think it's Tailed or Rain Dance against Keldeo, uh, which has Choice Packs. Okay, the Hydro Pump will be enough to take this out, I think it's worth risking it. I have a pretty decent chance to uh, to one shot it, so I hope this works out for me. I'm just picking Hydro Pump. What he could do is, yeah, oh, he lives with Spawn Percent. Okay, uh, Scald does absolutely nothing to me, and now I have to go for the Hydro Pump again. He can bank on a miss, but 
I have a pretty high chance to hit this too, so... And I cannot switch out, so... Now Gengar could be annoying for me, but I also have an Alakazam, which can one-shot it. I'm expecting the Sludge Wave or the Shadow Ball here, but I can go for Klefki. If he subs here, it's pretty bad, but I need this to beat his Apartment. Oh, he goes for sub, okay. Uh, what I can do now is... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Doesn't look pretty nice. Uh, also, he knocked off my, my choice scarf, so... I don't think that this Dazzling Gleam will take out his, his uh, sub, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. As he goes for Shadow Ball, does almost nothing, and I do not break, break the sub. Maybe I do now. could bring in the new on this, but I can T-wave it. And my goal is also to T-wave the Gengar as he goes for another Shadow Ball. Hopefully I break this up now as I do. And what I can do now is go for the T-wave on his Gengar. He might switch out, uh, switch in his Hippodon as he does. And what he can do now is go for the Rocks. Mm. Yeah, he, he could go for the rocks. But... I can T-wave that Gengar later, so I'm just going into Kelly and fire off, fire off some Hydro Pumps. Which will knock out this and do it KO. Actually, I can just spam Skulls. So, I'm just spamming Skulls here. It should do it KO the Mew, it should one-shot the Pardon. We are pretty sure that it's it's a spec score. It should one shot a Hippodon. As he brings in Mew, Mew will be yeah will be to it KO'd, and I have to prevent his rocks. I think other way. If not, I lose to Hippodon. So I have to get an attack off the power. I'm actually going to cut that. Now we can. He can get up a sub again, which is pretty annoying. But I'm pretty sure I can break that with my uh, with my uh, Lanaris. If I stay in, I lose this, so it's no point. And also, I get in range of <coughs> I'll be in range of rocks if he brings them in. So the Shadow Ball does a lot. Uh, I can just go for you Stone Edge actually to prevent his. A sub. I don't know why he didn't go for sub there. Uh, I'm just going for U-turn um, on the off chance that he switches in this pardon. Now I can go for Alexam, and he doesn't have sub, so uh, he doesn't have a, um, he doesn't have uh, the sash. So it's confirmed because he already has has the black sludge. So this Psychic should be enough to knock it out. As he goes for the Pardon. This should be... Oh, it's not. Okay. I get this Pedef Graph. Which is pretty unfortunate for my opponent. Because I will be... I will... I will be able to... Clean up this game with this. As he forfeits. Okay. And leaves. We get this match pretty, pretty... Pretty close, I think. I lost it because of um, because I lost a few 50/50s, but I I, I I I did it. I turned it. So let's look for another one for another battle, and hope we don't get stall, and hope we don't get uh, no stall, no rain, no sand. Ah, as we get something something weird with two trappers okay okay uh, what I can do is mm -hmm. I can lead with Lanaris actually 
Mm. Pretty sure he's going to leave with save back. And what I'm going to do is I'm dealing with my Kelio. As he leads with girls, he gets me on that. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to fire off the Hydro Pump. As he goes for trick, gets the specs. And this Hydro Pump is a 2 hit KO, but not enough. I mean, Kelio doesn't do really much anyway in this battle. Hmm. Just going for another, another one. I should be faster, and this should be a kill unless I miss. So he loses his Scotty Tail now, but he should go in the Celebi. Yeah. As I hit the second one, mm, my switch to this is. I'm expecting something like a U turn or T Wave. So what I will do is. I'll just switch in my Landris because he's either going for the uh, T Wave or the Good Rain or something or Grass Move. And oh, okay, he goes for Leaf Seed. And now I'm free to go for U Turn. Uh, Celebi doesn't doesn't appreciate U Turns at all because it takes like 60% or something. As he goes for Gothitelle, I knock this thing out, and now my Kelio pretty much has uh, has a good start. So Gengar and Conkeldur are destroyed by Alakazam. I have to get damage on that first. Celebi is destroyed by uh, Weaval and Blastoise. I don't know how I'm going to beat that, but I should be faster with Klefki. So I think I'm leading. I'm going Klefki now. You can paralyze a few things. Also, I can get up Spike to damage these three here and Blastoise. Game has Levitate, so it isn't mm, damaged by hazards. Yeah. I see switches in the same line. Uh, I am faster, so I will be getting this T Wave first. If he's not mega. But why does he switch in the Sableye on the fairy? That's my question there. Because my fairy move will do a crap lot of damage to it. Maybe he misclicked, I don't know. But he shouldn't be switching Sableye on the fairy type because I could have Play Rough or I could have Dazzling Gleam. I'm not Dazzling Gleam, but Moonblast and uh, Dazzling Gleam, yeah. And I have Dazzling Gleam. So. Don't really know why he did that, but we'll see. Uh, I'm just gonna pause it till he makes a move. And we are back, and my opponent decides to go for. Whoa, that does nothing. That does nothing. Okay. I think I have to burn him with my Kaldio. But that's four times effective. I don't. He has to be fully split up. I can go for some Scorp Burns. It's my only real play though. Yeah, it's, it's my only play. I have to go for a Scorp Burn. And I don't think he... Hope he hopefully I get the burn. As I don't, I'll just try that again. And hopefully get the burn. Mm, he'll, he'll keep spamming. I can't believe that a four times. It's it, he's four times weak to fairy. I don't believe that it did so little. And no burn now, so I'll just keep spamming skull till I get a burn. No burn now. He gets a burn. Okay, I'll just spam skull till I get it. I have no other play to go for honestly, as I get no burn. And I will spam Scald till Kaleo goes down. It doesn't do much really in this game. As I don't get the burn, I have one more chance to get it. But if I don't, it's pretty much over, I guess. But I could try to earthquake it with my uh, Landris. I don't know if it will do more than 
because he seems to be heavily spadef invested. I could also go for a dragon tail with my Gatron later, but now I'm just trying to get the burn on it so that it can recover up. Um, yeah, so that, it, so that it can recover up. Hopefully, I get the burn now as I I have one more chance, so hopefully, I get that burn now. And I think Dark Pulse shouldn't knock out my Garchomp and I can go for the Dragon Tail. We'll see, I'll just spam it. I'll just, I just spam Scald till he goes down. So I don't know what he's, what's taking so long. Maybe it's lagging, I just stop it to the next move. As I go for the last will o -Wisp and I get my burn finally. And now I can go for Garchomp and click Dragon Tail. Because I don't think that his dark pulse will knock me out because it didn't it did less than it did 30% to my uh, to my to my Kaleo and Gatron plays much much more HP so it shouldn't knock me out because Dragon Tail forces me to move last but I'll be forcing him out I think yeah as it takes his time I'll just stop it as he goes for will -Wisp and I force him out, finally. Now what I can do is, I can Dragon Tail again, expecting his Sableye again, because that's what I would do, I would switch in. On the off chance that, you know, my Stealth Rocks are obvious now, and I would switch in my Sableye, if someone's trying to get but also he has a blast to rapid spin, so I'm not entirely sure what he's trying to do here. I'll just... I'll just go for Dragon Tail. As he goes for knockoff, and I go for, for Dragon Tail, and Save Light comes back in. Which is pretty annoying. But I'm just going to switch in on Landris and I'll click Earthquake. Yeah, I'll click Earthquake. Because I think with this heavy Spideff investment, he shouldn't be able to tank an Earthquake. Although he could go for. Although he could go for. Uh, go for the Will Wisp in the following turn. But he goes for recover as expected, and now I'll go for the U-turn. His ability is magic bounce, so yeah. And now I can proceed to go into uh, Garchomp again and click Dragon Tail to prevent him from setting up. It's really annoying that he takes his time. This match could be over now. As he goes for Willow, I'll just go for Dragon Tail. Expecting the recover. And I got the Dragon Tail. Now, what I could do is switch back into that. Did he do that the last time? Uh, no, he went for an attack. So I think he won't. He will attack me now. Yeah, he will attack me now with his shadow ball. Yeah, pretty, pretty obvious. As he goes in a sableye and gets the rocks up on my field, he didn't do it the last time. That's why I thought that he attacked me the first turn and he could get rid of that. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Sableye is really a pain to deal with. I don't know if I should fall for this match because. It's really annoying that he's taking his time. I don't want to play this. So let's just look for another one, our last battle. And hopefully we got to get a more fast paced and uh, a more exciting match. So I'll pause it till we get a match. And we got one. But. 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 Did I disconnect? No. I think the server is lagging. 
pretty hard. But there's the team preview. And he has the same team as me. Cool, cool. Mm, nothing to trap. Oh, he, he just forfeits. Okay. I'll just look for another one. Just look for another battle. And I'll pause it till we get one. Oh, we got one already. It is Old Man J. It could be Jambat. Old Man Jambat. Let's get a Sceptile team. Weaval could do a lot. Ice shard, knock off. Ice shard, knock off. Kelly, yeah. And also, he has no way of hazard removal like I do. I don't have a way of hazard removal too. So, I think he'll leave the, this thing to get the Mega Evolution off. I will tell you, but I will lead with Klefki, get up a spike so that um, 5 out of 6 bonus members get hit with that. I'll just start the timer because it's taking this time. I think Weaver will be putting much work here. Also, if I somehow get off his choice staff here, as he leads with Bishop, which is pretty fine. Uh, I could T-Wave that or go for spikes the first time. But I think I'm going for the spikes here. <laughs> yep, as he goes for Iron Head. Okay. And I will just go for another spike, I guess. And then I will proceed to go for... As he goes for knockoff, which is fine. Um, now I will go for Fairy Lock because he will kill me and I will be able to trap him with my Kelio and just click Sacred Soul. Yep, that's the game plan there. As he knocks me out with knockoff and I I can just go for Kelio and click Sacred Sword and knock this Bishop out. That will be one problem gone for the Weaver and the next thing I have to get rid of is Kaldeo and also Raikou. So this Bishop is gone. Now he sees no item. Could bring in the, the Sceptile with, uh, with a substitute. But. Uh, and force me to switch out. But I think I can switch in my Landris on that and go for the U turn for the super effective damage. Now what I can do is I can uh, he will probably bring out his Sceptile or his Raikou. I can bring yeah he brings out his Sceptile. I can bring my uh, my Choice Guard Landris on that. Outspeed him after the Mega Evolution of course, and then he's probably going to bring out his Landris on the U-turn, and after that I can bring my. Uh, if he brings out his Landris, I can go for Weaver and scare that thing out. And I think go for U turn then. As he goes for Leaf Storm, oh, does a crap lot of damage. Uh, I'm going for U turn anyway. And will prevent his Weaver, uh, prevent his rocks from his Landris, Landris with my Weaver. And also get rid of his potential. Uh, Get rid of get rid of his potential choice scarf on Keldeo. So it's pretty important for me that I force a lot of switches here because I have the hazards up. As he goes for his own landers. And now I will be seeing what item he is. And I think he is defensive because that, that's almost nothing. I could also go for Keldeo, but that gives him a free switch into a Sceptile. I don't want that. So I'm going to bring in my Weaver. And honestly, just click knock off. Hmm. You know what? I'm I'm doing the safe play and clicking icicle crash because his Weaver, Weaver, uh, his Keldeo will be taking. You know, Scarf Keldeo is really annoying though. 
but I'm clicking Icicle Crash anyway. But then again, I have no switch on for this first thing. Oh, he brings in Raikou. I think this will go down. Almost. Ice Shot will knock him out. Or even knock off. So I'm not really sure what he wanted to do there. Uh, I could go for Pursuit, but there's no point because he will go down to the hazard hazards anyway. Now I prevent his rocks and he will probably bring out the Kaleo. Which I don't have a switch for. And I think I'm going to bring out my Trostbuff Landers on that. If he tries to go for a sub, I can uh, break that. And I don't feel Landris doing much, although it's a switch for Victini, but my Garchomp already walks that pretty nicely, I think. And also Scepter will be cleaning up the game later. Cleaning up the game later. I hope this is I hope that his Victini isn't scarf. That would be pretty annoying. As he goes for sub, uh, I can just go for the Explosion, I guess. Yeah, I could just go for for the explosion here because he go for the water attack anyway. Yep, as he goes for the skull. Perfect. Nice. Now I can go for Alexam. And just Mega Evolve. Yep, and click Psychic. Yeah, I click I can click Psychic here. He could, he could switch Victini. I don't know that set, but with the hazards up, it will be at 84% on the switching. So, yeah. I don't really think that Victini is scarf because of the Sceptile is already incredibly fast. And I don't really need a scarf with that. As he stays in, and I knock him out, which paves the way for my Weaver even more. Ice Shard, Ice Shard, and uh, knock off. If this is not Scarf, uh, I'm just going for Protect here and see what move he locks him into. Yep. Because this might be Scarf, but with with the speed, as he goes for recreate, okay, um, that doesn't tell me anything about the status of his item. But nonetheless, I'm switching in my Garchom. On the V create, and he will take 30% uh, from that. Now, what I can do is I can get at my rocks so that Victini might die to uh, so that Victini might die to an ice shot from Weaver. I have to cut that actually as he goes for Scepter, and I will proceed to go for. I just tell them to Dragon Tail because it will uh, break the protection sash and also uh, force out Landris as he goes for Dragon Pulse. Now I could go for the Weaver. I'm, am I fast actually? Yeah, I am. Ah, well, that's not no good. I'm using not my team. Okay, buddy. Uh, I can bring in my Alakazam. I guess. Yeah, I can bring in my Alakazam. And just go for Psychic. I think Victini should be killed when it takes so much hazard damage. Yeah, Victini shouldn't be able to switch in. And shouldn't be able to take a Weavile's Ice Shard. And sh I think this should be uh, over already. So I don't know what he's doing for so long. But he, he seems to uh, watch Mogwai, which I do too. And I like his videos too. So um, pretty 
pretty nice there. I'm just going to focus blast again, no point in switching out. As we knock out the Landris and the Victini should maybe no, it has a few percent left. Uh, I, I think I'll sack my Keldeo on the Victini. This brings this in. Now I can go for protect again. Mm. Hmm. I could sack my Keldeo because it does nothing. And he has to attack me twice as he goes for recreate. Uh, he has to attack me twice. And also, I will go for the Icy Wind. I assume. No, I just go for Secret Sword. It should be. It should. It should break a potential potential uh, substitute if he goes for an Scepter. As it doesn't survive. Now his Victini is dead on the hazards, and that should be a good game. Nice battle, friend. You can watch if you watch the video. Shoutouts to you. If you want to battle again, tell me in the comments. I hope you you will, you will watch this. So we will end this episode now. I think that were four or five battles, maybe forty minutes. Uh, I think we uh, we won we lost two and won three I guess. Pretty nice being on the positive. 1462 is not bad but not good. We have we will be climbing higher as we as I will be um, playing much more. So hope to see you next time. It was fun uploading again. So till next time.